Hello, so today I want to talk quickly about the accuracy of the temperature setting of the Muggo electric travel mug. I was uh, rather unimpressed with its accuracy, so you might see this as a negative point in a review, but really it's just one of those things that if you know it mismeasures temperature, as long as it's consistent, and it is, it's something you can adjust for. So I look at this kind of the same way as that I consider that you can't shake the Muggo uh, without the battery flying off. That might also be perceived as negative, but once you know that, you stop trying to shake it with the battery on it and it doesn't really impact you. So a few weeks ago, I did a six hour test on the Muggo and a variety of other mugs to see how long they would keep coffee hot. And I'll put a link to that in the description. But as a side effect of that test, I was able to dial in the exact temperature adjustment I needed to make to keep my coffee at the right temperature. Um, and this is the way that test came out. Uh, my goal was to keep the coffee at 135 degrees because that's where I like my coffee. But I knew from previous experience that I needed to set the muggle lower than that uh, because when I had it set to 135, it definitely was hotter than that. I could not drink it. It was too hot. So uh, you can see on the dark red line, which is the temperature I had the mug set to, I started out the test with it at 131 degrees. But before it even got down to 140 degrees, I could see that the mug was starting to turn on the heater which you can see on this chart as a nonlinearity of the blue line at around 145 degrees, which I knew was too soon. So eventually in this test, I found that a setting of 128 degrees kept my coffee at just over 135 degrees. So I left it there for the remainder of the test and that's where I leave it uh, today uh, when I use the mug. So this is kind of surprising to me because when I did the same test on my Ember mug, you can see that it did a really good job at keeping it close to 135 degrees when I had it set at 135. So I don't really think it should be that much of a technological challenge to accurately measure temperature, but somehow Ember has it figured out and Muggo doesn't. Uh, like I said, it's not a big deal because you can adjust for it, but something to know anyway, and thanks for watching.